Hello, this is Healing a Childhood Wound, and welcome to another segment in the Ninja's World Project. I changed up the inside of the house a little bit since last time. There's buttons next to the doors now, and there's doors now. To be honest, I'm never really sure how to do these intros because I don't really know who I'm supposed to be talking to. I'm not a YouTuber or anything like that. I'm making YouTube videos, I guess. But I'm more just trying to archive my Minecraft world. Um, and I think it would be kind of boring if I just had a bunch of videos without any sort of commentary or insight whatsoever. So that's why I like to add my silly little voice as a bonus. And if anyone happens to be passing through, ouch. <laughs> um, I don't want to make anyone feel unwelcome or anything. Uh, if this is something that someone wants to watch, they are more than free to do so. But, uh, it always feels kind of awkward addressing someone that's not particularly there. <laughs> um, I guess there's really no reason to preface what I'm doing or justify it in any sort of way, uh, if this is just kind of for me. So, I need to keep that in mind and not hold myself to any sort of expectation or anything like that, I guess, because uh, in doing that, that's probably how I'm gonna burn out on this project. I'm just not realizing that there's supposed to be a trapdoor here, but it's not there. So anyway, yeah, I've been doing some building quite a bit around the house, and I'm not sure if I like it too much. I'm uh, kind of just messing around with different techniques for the time being, and the reason I haven't really shown any of it is because I think I'm gonna uh, tear most of it down and redo it today. Uh, last time we messed around with redstone quite a bit, and that was super fun, but I like to switch it up from time to time, so I think uh, for this segment, I'm gonna focus quite a bit on making the area around here look pretty nice because if I'm being honest uh, It's been super wrecked by the endermen uh, That have been spawning everywhere At first I kind of wanted to keep the terrain uh, pretty much natural But the mobs had other ideas, so now I just want to make it look good uh, I also want to do some building up on the interior of the house. I'm starting to realize with all the new blocks in the game, I'm getting a weird feeling of like decision paralysis with all these different combinations and stuff that I could use. I feel like there's this uh, idea that I need to use the best um, series of blocks or the coolest looking combination and it's kind of stopping me from just uh, trying something. So uh, I just started putting down blocks that I think look nice together. Sandstone has always been one of my favorite blocks in this game going back to some other early updates so that's what I'm using as kind of an accent here and I like it. I thought about maybe using calcite instead to kind of uh, go with the white concrete powder to have white on white and I still might I don't know I do like the sandstone though so maybe for like a different floor or something these buttons are also kind of annoying I'm not super used to them yet I thought about having pressure plates here and then I realized that it would mess with the little table that I set up so can't really do that. I'm not sure about this 
bark texture. I kind of like it. I've had it for a little bit now and it's sort of grown on me. I thought about maybe doing stripped wood instead, but I don't know. After doing it, I don't really think I like it as much. I've been going from complete chaos to uh, somewhat organized chaos for my storage structure. I've just kind of been keeping everything in this small cave below my house. Uh, and I got a pretty good supply of different blocks and uh, materials. Should probably stop making that sound. <laughs> um, I put a storage area down here just to keep some junk that I don't really feel like uh, putting in my storage area because uh, I feel like that's been happening a lot and I've been trying to slowly move all that junk out of the interior of the house which has been going pretty well. I've got uh, most of my stuff organized from like uh, just kind of general loot and stuff in this room uh, and then these chests still have a bunch of random junk in them. And this one's mostly my uh, good tools that I've been stocking up on. And I've still been doing some caving um, between episodes. So I'm pretty rich at this point. Feeling pretty good about that. I cleared out all the junk in this area as well and got rid of Zisto. But yeah, I've got a pretty good stock of stuff at this point, so I think it's about time to start doing some terraforming around the area and uh, building up some cool stuff. Update number one, I'm just kind of flattening the ground right now and trying to redistribute it to other areas. I got a bunch of stone that filled up my inventory so I had the idea to big build this big stalagmite come in from the ground, um, or I guess the sea rather, and uh, I think it looks pretty cool, I gotta say, especially from here. Um, <laughs> oh man, I really don't like how this diamond armor looks. It's like a, looks like a onesie. It's like pajamas. <laughs> oh man, um, I should have made boots instead, huh? Uh, but yeah, I think that's a pretty cool idea. Uh, as I dig out a lot of this stone in the cliffside, I think I'm gonna maybe make a few more to, uh, partner up with it because uh, I'm really liking how that turned out. These blocks are so cool by the way. Uh, I really like to use them as a ceiling or a floor. Uh, I guess I'm kind of using it as both right now because it's got the same texture on the top and the bottom but it fits in with the oak wood like so well. Um, it's a uh, chiseled bookshelf. It's a empty bookshelf, but I guess you can place enchanted books and written books inside of it uh, from the side. I don't have any on me or I'd show it off, but um, when they're placed like that, you can't use it. You have to interact with it from this side that actually holds the books. So I thought it would be kind of a cool way to make a secret door, like you could interact with one of these panels from the floor or something 
um, and open up a door that way, but um, it wouldn't work like that because you have to interact with it this way. You also can't break it with uh, an ordinary tool. You have to use silk touch to get it back. So that's kind of weird. I guess it just acts like a um, the old bookshelf item, but uh, you can put books in and take books out, so it's more interactive. They sound really cool when you walk on top of them, though. I think that's my favorite part. They're like an S-tier floor, I gotta say. They're definitely going into Ninja's Hall of Favorite Blocks when that becomes a thing. I also saw this cool window pane technique used in a B00 video. I'm trying not to watch too much Minecraft videos on the new version because I don't want to spoil myself. I like to see new things in this world uh, kind of firsthand, but uh, this was something I did catch and I thought it was really cool. It's just like a window pane. It's a, a trap door with a sign placed on it right on the glass and it adds so much life to the build. It's so cool. I really like it. I think it's like just what this facade needed. Without it, it was a little plain. It was still missing something, but that uh, slight extrusion is is really cool. I think uh, I think I'm super happy with how this is turning out now. I also added a little water feature here. Um, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to be coming out of this block specifically, so I might add something on the interior that uh, is some sort of like sink or drainage system, like right here. Maybe like a water heater. Uh, just, just so it's, um, I don't know, <laughs> makes sense that there would be water pouring out of here, even though it's um, probably a little concerning if I have a water heater with a big leak coming out of it from my house. I don't know. It's Minecraft. I installed the unloading circuit that we talked about from the last episode, and this tree farm is working so well now. I think the system is completely lossless um, after having done that. Um, and I can show off an example if I just chop down a few of these logs. Yeah, there it goes. Um, and then once it gets to here, um, it's gonna do the basic circuit. Um, I'll just briefly explain it one more time. Um, once it gets to this track right here, items will start feeding into this hopper. Uh, then on the other side of here, we have a comparator looking for a signal out of the hopper. Every time there's items inside of it, it's gonna tell this block to get powered and invert the redstone torch coming up here and depowering this circuit. You can see it's happening right now. Um, and that happens for just as long as it takes for everything to unload through the hopper. Just as soon as they end up in this chest and outside of the hopper, uh, the comparator is no longer telling this block to send power, so it uh, lights itself back up and powers the rail track once again. Uh, sending the hopper off on its way. That way it only hangs around just as long as it needs to hang around and it's never gonna um, loop back and forth long enough for items to despawn. Uh, so that's pretty cool. That means I can just run through here and chop down trees, uh, get the wood I need, and then head out and do whatever. Um, so I can leave the leaves to despawn naturally and I'll catch all the saplings and apples and sticks and whatever I need. It all ends up in this chest down below. Uh, and I've been using it for a while now. You can see it's uh, pretty efficient. I kind of just come down to chop trees when I'm ever, whenever I'm uh, in between projects and um, I end up with a lot of wood that way. So it's all good. Another update. Have a second to take it all in. 
That Enderman is really making me mad right now. I'm glad he took fall damage. Uh, so yeah. What do we think? I don't know. It's certainly flatter. Uh, we have some more room to do some stuff. And that makes me pretty happy. But it's still a work in progress. Uh huh. I started to fill in this trench uh, with some of the other holes that I've been filling in. And I had a thought. I don't know. Do you see the vision? I figured this might be a pretty cool lake uh, that might make a a waterfall into the into the sea or something. Uh, so I started carving it out further, and it's pretty rough. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how I feel about it. It's um, definitely going to take a lot of work, but I've committed to it. I'm going to make it happen. So I also planted some grass around the house and added some slabs so that it's easier to walk around. And we have a lot more area to work with. Uh, so... Yeah, I, uh, I'm not really liking the stone. I think I might, uh, bring the grass out further and then, uh, do some texturing with some different types of blocks. Maybe, uh, some different kinds of dirt. Uh, maybe some moss blocks. Maybe some hay blocks. Uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll mess around with it. Oh, uh, no you don't. Yeah, I had my eye on you. I was just waiting for you to do something. Oh, I forgot. I took off my armor. <laughs> this is not good. Ah, I was bested. Figures. I took off my armor because it looked stupid. The price we pay for fashion, am I right? Uh, anyway, I started working on another one of these. This one is a little bit bigger. And, uh, I, I don't know. I don't like it as much. <laughs> um. I think it's too wide is the problem. I didn't finish it yet, to be fair. Um, but I'm trying to figure out what the problem is. You know, it's either too close, I could maybe move it out a little farther back to give it the illusion of being smaller. I could make it thinner. I could make it taller. Uh, there's a few options, but... I'm undecided yet as to what I want to do with it. Um, I could either work with it as it is, or I could tear it down and start over. So on that note, I think I'm going to take a break from landscaping for today. Uh, I'll probably do some work on my own, uh, just because decisions need to be made, and it's hard to make decisions when I'm recording these updates. I'm st still a little shy speaking to the void, so uh, it's hard to think things through critically about what really looks good or not. Sometimes I need to take a day to sleep on it or something and come back and see what we got going on. Uh, so we're going to take a break 
and I think for the rest of this log I'm going to do some work on the interior of the house. We're gonna try one more thing real quick. Uh, this might be kind of fun. Um, I need to take this down. Uh, it doesn't make much sense being here anymore, especially since I can't even reach it. Oh man, that's loud. Uh, okay. So. I think this might look kind of cool if I uh, plant some of this around, but I'm pretty sure you can grow it. Oh man, okay, that is cool. Okay, yeah, I like that a lot. Uh, the bushes might be a little much, but that's okay. I can uh, take those down and plant them somewhere else, but... Oh, this looks super cool. Does it spread even more? Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, sweet. Okay. Oh man. Um... Yeah, I might just do that throughout like the whole stone area and uh... Clean it up as I need to. Uh, cause this moss looks really cool. I think I like the way it looks a lot, yeah. Oh man. <laughs> uh, too much tall grass too, but it's no big deal. Huh, I wonder why some of these bushes have flowers and some don't. Are they two different items? Oh yeah, it seems like they are. Oh, okay. Huh. I found one of these earlier in a cave, but uh, I think I like the flowering azalea more than the the original one, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch that out too. Oh yeah, that looks pretty cool. A uh, little too much green, but that's okay. We can uh, clean it up with some stone and maybe some mossy stone. One of the issues I'm having is that I wanted to extend this spiral staircase downstairs so that I don't have to walk outside every time I want to go in the basement. Um, but that's a problem because I'm realizing with the way that I built this wall, uh, they kind of come in one block. Uh, and I would need this space for the staircase. Um, if I dug into it, it's gonna show on the outside. Uh, so I don't really like that. Um, I realized that the only way I'm gonna get around that is if I pick a spot where that's not, uh, the case. Uh, and I think the only spot that that really applies to is uh, gonna be this area right here. Um, oh no, I can't even do that because uh, these two blocks would still be in the way. Hmm. Yeah, so it's pretty tricky. but it's not the worst. I wasn't really feeling the strawberry red floor of the jungle planks. Uh, the ceiling's okay, but I replaced it down below with sandstone, and I think that looks a lot better. The staircase works. It goes all the way up top, and I don't have to crouch at all which is good. I wasn't really wanting to make it 
uh, where I had to do that uh, because I can, but I just don't think it would be super satisfying to have it like that. Uh, you can even go down below. Oops. I <laughs> uh, probably need to fix that. But you can get down to my storage area now. Uh, still some work to be done, but... Better than it was. I added some foliage just to uh, cover this hole because otherwise uh, you could sneak through here. And there was kind of a weird cap. Uh, but I think this green is nice. It breaks up the browns and the tan that are everywhere in the house. I added a little uh, faux piping thing uh, so that the water makes sense. And I want to try and uh, hook it up to something. I am using cauldrons and hoppers to make a pipe looking thing and I'm going to feed it up uh, to the upper floor, uh, maybe one higher even. Um, maybe I can make like a steam powered chimney or something coming out of the roof. Um, But yeah, it's um, kind of cramped, I gotta say, but I don't think that's the worst thing ever. I'm kind of going for that steampunk, uh, crowded workshop sort of vibe, so uh, for that purpose I think it works. I, as I get uh, to the upper floors. I'm probably going to want to give myself some more space to actually make this house functional, but uh, for now it's not too bad. Anyway, uh, this feels like a pretty good stopping point. This video is running kind of long. Usually I like to keep them under 30 minutes, and I think we are just about to hit that exactly. So, uh, sorry to get out of here quickly, but I don't really have anything more to add. Uh, we did some pretty good work today, and I'll probably just keep on doing more of the same. Uh, so, until next time.